Okay, the force of gravity between two spherical masses is small, right? When they're separated by 1.8 meters, if they're moved so that the force of attraction is a little bit more, they must be closer, right? They gotta be closer than 1.8 meters. What is their new separation? Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, F1. Let's call this F1. Let's call this R1. Let's call this F2. And the thing we're solving for is R2, okay? So F1 is equal to G mm over R1 squared. And F2 is G the same two masses over R2 squared, right? And of course I can divide left by left and right by right. And I end up with F1 over F2 equals uh, R2 squared over R1 squared, okay? Now let's see, we're solving for R2, so, so what we end up with is R2 equals the square root of F1 over F2 times R1, right? So I mean, when you square root it, of course, the square goes away, right? Okay, notice that they change by the ratio of their, of their, um, the square roots of the forces, right? So R2 is going to be the square root of, and we know that it's gotta be a little bit closer, right? So I'm gonna go 5.9 over 7.8, right? And then our initial radius was 1.8. Now I know without a doubt that it's gotta be closer, right? Because it's a bigger force, therefore it's closer. So. I really am not paying attention to the R1s and R2s. I'm just putting the small number on top, big number on the bottom. Notice I didn't include, they both have a times 10 to the minus 12th, but that's not important because it's the ratio of these that's important. And that's the same ratio as it would be if they were to the, if they were femto or whatever that is, pico, I think it's pico. Femto is like 10 to the minus 15th, pico. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this, so. Um, parentheses, square root, alpha F1, enter, it's 5.9, 7.8, parentheses, times 1.8, I can do this, 1.565, so 1.57 meters is, approximately how far apart they are. They're a little closer because it's more force, right? 